kitchen. You wake up. You open your eyes. And you like that. Where am I? A small room. Bright lights. White walls. A metal door. Oh my god. Imagine you wake up and you're in a jail cell. You go to the door. You fuck with your fist. Screaming. Shout! What am I doing in here? Imagine this police guy comes up to the door. And he's like, keep it down! And you're like, what did I do? You don't know. You shake your head. What? And the police guy just looks at you like you're a pure thug or something. Imagine he just looks at you and he goes, You're being charged with attempted murder, young man. You'd be like that. No. What did I do? So you start remembering. Everything. Right from the beginning. And you try to remember. How did I get here? thing you ever had to a proper father. He put you under his wing. He did everything a dad would do. He'd hold your hand. He'd walk you down to the shop. He'd play that little games with you. But best of all, he'd take you to see the Leeds game. Every Saturday. But then he got his cancer. You'd remember that. So every night you'd go and sit with him. Play a game of cards. Help him do a jigsaw. Have a cup of tea and look out the back window. And you'd remember that that was where the boys from Yard Street used to fight with the boys from the street down the road. Then he'd run at each other with bottles and bricks. Then he would be balls and baseball bats. And then he would be knives. He'd looking out the window going, Has that boy got a sock? Am I really seeing this? And you and your granddad, you would just sit there and go, what are they fighting for? Because your granddad never went out and started hitting people. He's got a point across with his mouth, not with his hands. He just had to talk to you, and people would listen. And you'd always remember, you wanted to grow up, to be just like him. Up for being 
be a god. Just because he had long hair and wore black combat. He used to call you. The gin. Huh, look at him. Hey, god. Do you shag dead people? You go up to the graveyards and knock about there, don't you? What? Yeah, you do. I've seen you. Proper digging up the coffins and raping the corpses. You dirty bastard! And you'd remember the beating. One of the bullets is taken Ah! Oh. He'd wrap it around his knuckle and whack you with it. Another the three down the stairs. Go. Kick you in the ribs. Stop! Death to the gym. And then they'd just swagger off and leave you there, lying on the ground, curled up in a little ball. You'd remember that. You'd remember every punch. And you remember you had gone to turn to. Because your granddad was in the hospital. So you'd sit in your room and watch horror films. Night after night. Or read books about serial killers. Or just look at all the pictures. You had a bloodlust for it. It gave you a thrill. Reading about killers costs the normal people but the mysterious. What makes them tick? What makes them go insane? What can make somebody do it to somebody? It fascinated you.